DNA Replication by Group 1 DNA replication is an important cellular process in creating additional body cells. This happens before meiosis or mitosis in the time frame called interphase. When a cell divides, each daughter cell must receive its full complement of genetic material in the form of chromosomes containing DNA. A chromosome is made up of two long strands of DNA and several types of proteins. A DNA is composed of a long backbone of sugar and phosphate unit. One of our different nucleotide bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, or granine, hung off each sugar unit. The sequence of the bases encodes genetic information. DNA replication is a process in which identical DNA analysis are produced from the single double-stranded DNA molecule. Each molecule is made up of the strand from the original molecule and new strand. Before we get to that, let us first get to know the key players in DNA replication. Enzymes play an important part in this process. Without enzymes that catalyze various steps in the replication process, DNA replication would not be possible. The DNA helicase unwinds and separates double-stranded DNA as it moves along the DNA. It creates the replication fork by breaking hydrogen bonds between nucleotide pairs in DNA. DNA premise is an RNA polymerase that produces RNA primers. Primers are short RNA molecules that serve as templates for the replication of DNA. DNA polymerases are enzymes that add nucleotides to the leading and lagging DNA strands to create new DNA molecules. Topoi summaries, also known as DNA gyres, is a protein that unwinds and rewinds DNA strands to keep them from becoming tangled or supercoiled. DNA ligase forms phosphodiester bonds between nucleotides to join DNA fragments together. Now that we know this, let's start exploring the process of DNA replication. DNA replications start at a certain part called the origin. The helicase comes in and unwinds from the origin and extends the single-stranded region for copying. Single strand binding protein binds to the single strand region to protect it from breakage and to prevent it from renaturing. As the parental DNA is unwound by DNA helicases and SSB, the resulting positive supercoiling or torsional stress is relieved by toposemerase or the DNA gyrase by inducing transient single stranded breaks. The enzyme DNA primase then attaches to the DNA and synthesizes a short RNA primer to initiate synthesis of the leading strand of the first replication fork. This is really important because otherwise DNA polymerase won't know where to start. DNA polymerase extends the RNA primer made by primase. DNA polymerase possesses separate catalytic sites for polymerization and degradation of nucleic acid strands. On the template strand with 3 to 5 prime orientation, new DNA is made continuously in 5 to 3 prime direction towards the replication fork. This strand is called the leading strand. On the template strand with 5 to 3 prime orientation, multiple primers are synthesized at specific sites by primase and DNA polymerase synthesizes short pieces of new DNA in the 5 to 3 prime direction and fills the gaps with new DNA. This new strand is called the lagging strand. These small DNA fragments that are discontinuously synthesized are called Okazaki fragments, which was named after the discoverer Reiji Okazaki. Then, the DNA polymerase uses its 5' to 3' exonophase activity to remove the RNA primer. Finally, DNA ligase, the gluing enzyme, fills the gaps between the Okazaki fragments, sealing them together. At the end of replicating, you have two identical double helix DNA molecules. 
from your one original double helix DNA molecule. We call this semi-conservative because the two copies contain one old original strand and one newly made one. And that's it. Thanks for watching.